the dancing chicken. <laughs> we are live, chickens. Come on, play the song. I can't hear it. Can you hear it? I hope you guys can hear it. I can see it. <laughs> Maybe you and I can do it. <laughs> And where have I been? I. <laughs> How we do it? Hanging in there. I'm so super excited. I got my sign today. Oh, let's see your sign. I love this sign. It's super cool. Check it out. Wow. Nice. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it in my window. Um, and I love it. I like, I just, it's such a colorful sign. It seems happy. <laughs> it, look, happy like, it's it's looks short supply. It looks like building, building things, which is what we need to do. Yep. We're going to do it. <laughs> so I've made a commitment. I'm doing something every day today. I'm joining the postcard group and we're going to write postcards online in zoom. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So that'll be good. And good. Anything you guys can do, that's my commitment to try and do something every day. We have like what 46 days left, I think. I'm trying to get the young people involved, like all of Ronan's friends that have turned 18, you know, on the fence or they had you know, nowhere to go or whatever. I'm really trying to get at least 20 young people. If everybody could do that, five yep. 18 year olds, and they are going to say that. Well, they got to vote first <laughs> and then they got to stay active once if, if we should God be so lucky to win, you cannot stop there. It, it takes engagement all the way through. So that's, you know, longer than the five second attention span we have on Facebook and Twitter. No offense, Facebook, which we're on now. <laughs> Sorry, Facebook. We rag on you sometimes while we're yeah, on. We we do. Oh, so that reminds me, if you guys have not seen it, the the um, the documentary called Social Dilemma. What? Oh, it's so good. It's on um, um, Netflix right now. OK, I'm going to put up two things. Better know a ballot. If you want to know all about your ballot, where you when all that stuff and the film Social Dilemma. And that's about really social media and the crazy of social media, right? Okay. It's all about social I media. Tonight. I might watch that tonight. Yeah, it's um it's it's really it's it's um the people who started who are in at the ground level of Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and uh, people who had uh, it's about AI and all the logarithms and what their intentions were in the beginning and what happened and where they are now. And it's super interesting. I highly I recommend it. Watch that. Yeah. Well, if people did not hear yesterday, we have rescheduled the cook along. It is still mm -hmm. happening, but to, we got feedback from people who observed Rosh Hashanah and we mistakenly put it on that Saturday. So it has yeah. been moved to October 3rd at 4 p.m. Mountain. So we hope that you can still do it. And, you know, you'll, if you do the registration on coffee.com, um, then you can get the ingredients and be prepared. Yep. And do the cook along. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, and tonight we're doing back-to-back -back potato episodes because why not? Why not? <laughs> You can never have enough potatoes. I ate my twice takes for breakfast and lunch. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> it was so good. Super good. I know. They're, they're comfort food, and we all need that right now. A little bit. Just a little, little bit. bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. Okay, so speaking of comfort food, I have a pot roast in my slow cooker. Mm. And so instead of. Um, having roasted potatoes or potatoes in the pot with the pot roast, I'm going to be making potato pancakes because I have leftover mashed potatoes. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we shall start out with 
the mashed potato. I'll show you. I am a girl who likes to mash my potatoes with the skin on. <laughs> now that's interesting. I like my potato salad with the skin on, but my mashed potatoes, I take the skin off. Do you? I, I just love the skin. And the skin, if it's their organic, is where a lot of the vitamins are. It's the vitamins, yeah. And so I, when I make potatoes, mashed potatoes, I always cook the potatoes in something like stock. So these were cooked in a vegetable stock and with garlic. So um, and they're mashed with you, butter. That's what you boil them in? A stock with garlic. Wow, yeah. I've never done that in my life. I've always just done it with water. Oh my God, you have not lived. It makes a big difference in the flavor. Yeah huge i i often do chicken stock but i had i wanted i knew that i might do this so i thought i'm gonna use vegetable stock because i think i might put the beef on top i could have done them in in you know a beef but i also used some of these mashed potatoes for my focaccia i didn't really want a strong flavor in the mashed potato so but they I still taste that with that, time. that sounds like such a great idea yeah. And then, okay, you know me, I save the stock with the potato water in it and I'll either freeze that for, and add that to my soup, um, stock stuff that I cook with all the vegetable ends. But tonight I used it with, to make gravy for my pot roast. Wow. You're the original recycling queen. I know. It's really <laughs> screwed up. Take it to a whole new level. <laughs> you would think I grew up in the depression. We say that a lot, but it's like serious next level what you do. So I don't think anybody does what you do, Deborah. Now, I'll bowl. Yeah, I'll a bowl that makes this in. All right, so I have my scallions. Okay. Mm. That I got from outside that I regrew because since we're talking about that, I did it too, and they they haven't popped all summer. All it's summer, all summer. summer, baby. They have produced. <laughs> So um, I'm gonna guess this is probably I, I used about four four stalks of okay. um, of the green onion top. So I'm gonna put those in the bowl. Okay. And then I have a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme. I'm just gonna peel that off into the bowl. So I think it's three. I have three. Okay. A little bit of time in there in the potato mix it's going in so you know you know the, the drill strip these are woody at this time of year so you just strip them right and then i have about a quarter there it of is. yeah david's here hey david <laughs> then i have a about a quarter of a cup of um chopped parsley that i got from the yard it smells so green oh my gosh very nice a very nice smell that's going in my bowl and then i'm gonna add i have a, a, about a cup of grated cheese this is that wensleydale i was telling you about that's a sharp cheddar Ooh. and um asiago Yum. Asiago, that's what's going to make it crispy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. And then I'm going to put in two cups of potato. I think I should probably measure it because I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't want to get any flack now. I know, right? One, I think there was about two cups in here, and I was right. Just exactly two cups. See? You're eyeballing it with right on target. So good. Okay, then I'm gonna add two eggs in here and a quarter cup of flour. Wow, this is like making pancakes. Yeah, kinda, kind of is. Uh, I can't, I gotta get my quarter cup. And then I have this uh, garlic garlic powder. I'm just going to do about a quarter teaspoon of that. Okay. I know I didn't measure. I know, I know. Okay. Third. Third? 
Okay. okay. Well, let's the record show. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with it. Okay. What? Here's the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Quarter cup in there, and then I'm going to add some flour into my um my flat pan because I'm going to dip them in that. Oh. In the flour, and that's how we're going to get a nice crust. These are new little tricks I'm learning. Yeah, that's how you're going to get a nice crust mm. on the outside. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to cook these babies. Yeah. Um, I have uh, this avocado oil, which I love. I have a giant one because I went to Costco. <laughs> but they do. So are those liquidy enough? You don't add like milk or anything? You just use the egg as the liquid? I'm using the egg as the liquid right now. If they seem like they're too, um, too stuck, and this is, you know, a good, a healthy pinch of salt. If they seem like they're too stuck together, then I would loosen it up with a little bit of milk or cream, whatever you have around. Okay. But that's kind of a touchy feely thing because it depends on your mashed potatoes to begin with. Right. You know, what you, what you had in there, if they were, you know, a fluffy mashed potato or a dense mashed potato, you kind of have to judge that yourself. So what were your mashed potatoes? What, um, what would you classify them as? I would classify them as medium, medium, medium dense. They weren't so, they weren't like glumpy, but I didn't mash them hard. So, you know, I use a pretty big hand masher for my potatoes and I just basically get them mixed with the butter. Um, I don't over, over mash them. So, yeah. but they were not run, like for instance, if I was going to make, gnocchi i would have run the potatoes through a ricer right because that would have given them more air yeah like this is basically a, the similar recipe for gnocchi but um because i didn't rice the potatoes i don't really want to make a gnocchi dough out of it because that it, it just makes a denser gnocchi okay all right so see you can see these are not real tight the potatoes are they're kind of loose it's not super dense. And I added salt, you know, a healthy pinch of salt and some pepper, black okay. pepper. Okay. So now, all right. So, okay. So I had the, had the um, avocado oil, which you could use any kind of neutral oil. I'll use avocado oil here, but my favorite thing to use, which I may use later, is duck fat. <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> nothing on earth is better than potatoes fried mm -hmm. in duck fat. That's just a fact. Those are the facts. That's just a fact, people. Those are the facts. <laughs> so I'm going to put some oil in the bottom of the pan, let it get hot, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, this is how you can do it. Like You just make like a little ball of potato like that, like okay. a ball. Then you smash, smash it flat, like into a patty. Okay. And now I'm going to coat it on both sides in the flour. And see, so this is borderline, like sticking together and coming apart because I don't want, I don't want a dense potato. Right. right. So right. you just have to kind of go by feel. Okay. Okay, now, so one of the viewers is asking, where in God's name do you purchase duck fat? Oh, I can tell you, because I buy it every year. <laughs> um, there's a company out of, I think it's upstate New York, and I'll post it. Um, they have, it's not organic duck fat, but they, I called them and they didn't go through the process, but it's all like free range ducky things and they don't feed them pesticides and all that. I get it in a, um, what is it? Like a three gallon jug because I cook my turkey in it at wow. Thanksgiving. Wow. And then um, I save the duck fat. You can put it, obviously I put it in the freezer. You don't have to, it could just go in the refrigerator. Um, and I use it for all kinds of things throughout the year. 
And to some people who are lucky, they get it. I cook chicken in it. It's and then you can reuse it. You don't throw it out afterwards. You don't? Mm -mm. No, you definitely don't. And if you call the duck fat guy, I'm sure he'll tell you a story he told me about this woman that buys it every year at like every, she was buying it like every couple months. And he's like, what the hell is she doing with all the duck fat? And as it turned out, she was using it once. No, you can reuse it. Wow. It flavors, it deepens the flavor, whatever you're cooking in it. And so That's you should incredible. definitely just keep it. That's incredible. Okay, yeah. so someone else is asking, do you have to cook a duck? No. Debriana has just told the story and she's gonna post it with the recipe of where you can purchase the duck fat. Now I have cooked a duck myself. I have made, of course, the famous duck a la orange. I was scared to death. Oh nice. Um, but the amount of duck fat that is rendered from a dish like that was like a tub of lard. And I yeah. was a vegetarian at the time, but you know, cooking <laughs> at a, with a cat our catering company, and I was scared of it, so I threw it out. <laughs> oh no! I should have kept it. When I was a vegetarian. Oh my gosh. Is okay, right so exactly. if we're together on Thanksgiving, you might I might show you how I do my turkey. But I'll tell you, I separate the breast from which I brine separately, and then I separate the legs, the thighs, and the wings, and those get confit in duck fat. And yep. you have not lived until you've had confit turkey in duck fat. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I just I just thought of an idea. I just thought of what? an idea for us. For the month of October and into November, we should just make Thanksgiving dishes up until Thanksgiving because I think we'd have enough between the two of us. Oh, oh hell yeah. I tell you, I have folders of what I have saved over the years and I go through them every year and decide which dishes are coming back, which I'm gonna try new. And I have friends that have been coming over for years that help me cook. And I know they can cook. That's the only reason they can help me. <laughs> but wouldn't that be fun? Because it's the ultimate comfort food during Thanksgiving. Yeah, totally. Oh, yep. yeah. It's yep. my favorite holiday. Okay, let's do it. And it is my, by far my favorite holiday. Me too. <laughs> I mean, it's like... I won't do the turkey, though, because the turkey is a project. <laughs> the turkey is a big deal. And um, all of the accoutrements that go with it, and all the desserts, and all the snacks. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, someone's saying maybe viewers could make suggestions too. Yes, please. Oh do. hell yeah, we'll do we'd, it. We'd love to hear your suggestions for our Thanksgiving extravaganza, perhaps the next couple of months, because that's you know it's fun to be inspired to cook oh, stuff. So fun. I make what the same. The one thing that stays the same is I always make this one pie. I've been making it for twenty some years. It's um, you either use pears or apples on the bottom. I caramelize them in the bottom of a cast iron pan as the crust, and then I put the pumpkin filling, and then I put pecan a pecan pie filling on top of that. Oh my god! So when you bite it, it's all three pies in one bite, no crust. <laughs> wow i want to taste that that sounds incredible <laughs> well you know the thing is at the end of thanksgiving dinner i always feel like i make a great crust but nobody wants more crust at the end of thanksgiving dinner when you've had stuffing and potatoes so um, I, just I, do. I, I do i do i want more crust <laughs> well then then you can have the apple pie bars those are okay. separate okay <laughs> okay okay Okay, come see my potatoes. Let's see here. What do you got? Are they frying up? Oh, those look tasty. Yep, crispy potatoes. Oh, yum. Yeah, they're good. So you just want to make sure this the flame's not too high because you want them in there long enough to cook all the way through. Yeah. And, um, and that's it. Okay, I think it's safe oh. to say that you and I are potato fanatics. I mean, I love potatoes. I'm I'll going with that. I'll, I'll eat them every day. I love them. All day long, every day. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing we have in common. It is. It's ridiculous. 
<laughs> yes, yesterday we were we both had our denim shirts on. Oh Unbeknownst God. to both of us. And I haven't worn one for so long. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna take these out. Yeah, okay. that's gonna be so good with the pot roast. That's gonna be delicious. Yeah, it's just sort of another way to enjoy pot roast without, you know, the same old, same old potatoes, right? I'm really looking forward to the cooler weather and making all these yummy stews and roasts and everything. That's going to be fun. Yes. Look at my potatoes. Oh, they're sizzling. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Crispy and delicious. Mmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just said, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they're crispy on the outside and soft and creamy and really flavorful on the inside. Now you could serve these with, you know, sour cream on top if you didn't have a pot roast like I do. Um, but that'd be delicious too. Just a little bit of sour cream and chives on the top. Yum. Yum. Delicious. All right, well I have to go to another board meeting because I'm on another board, so. Um. <laughs> Boards. Uh, tonight is New Mexico Women in Film, so I'm excited. We always have a great, great collaboration with all those amazing women. So I'm off to that. But all right. Thank you, everyone. And just remember, uh, do something every day. That's what we got to do from now to the end, people. And we'll see you tomorrow for cocktails and mocktails, as usual. <laughs> Woo! Oh, have a good night. Be have a good time at your board meeting, Ish. Thank you. Here's my pretend mojito. <laughs> Everyone wear a mask. Be safe.